All right, they have Lauren Grace pulled out. There was a issue before we got here this morning. One of the through holes got stepped on or something and broke, so they had to do emergency haul out. We weren't planning on doing the haul out till tomorrow, but they did one today because she was taking water. So now they're trying to find a through hole to replace it so we can do the sea trial. That may or may not happen. We're here at Barber Marina, down here outside of Orange Beach, Alabama, doing the survey on the 42 Jefferson, 1987. Let's take a look and see what we got. Albatin paint, anti-foul paint, you can see where the barnacles have been attached and scraped off and popped. That's why you got to be careful when you scrape the bottom of these. You don't get into this. But she's going to need a bottom job before we set sail south. Be good enough for now. You can see you've got your intakes here for your air conditioners, your wash down. More intakes. There's your transducer right there to the left of that one. There's another intake right there. There are blisters throughout this boat that we found, a lot of dime size, nickel size. You find that in a lot of the boats. Two inch stainless steel shaft. This is a twin screw. Here are the zincs that go on the shaft. Here's your rudders. These also have zincs. Here's your zincs for your bonding for the back of the boat. Trim tabs. Platform. Seems real solid. Starboard exhaust. Thanks for your rudders. So she's up on the sling. They're going to see if they can find a through hole to. See if we can get her back splashed and go do a sea trial. They're working on this window here. It had a leak. And there is going to be some issues inside with the wall panel leaking and a little bit of uh, delamination in the wall as far as the uh, laminate goes. Can be fixed, not a big deal. There's your grill up top. There's your eyes and glass in the back canvas. It's getting a little bit cloudy, but for what we need for an enclosure, I think it'll do us fine for a while. We'll usually have that unzipped anyway, unless it's raining or cold. It's got strata glass up on top. There's a starboard door. Controls inside. Rub rails. The uh, anchoring system, you've got a uh, plow anchor, 280 foot of 3 8 triple B chain. There's your V-berth lights. There's your uh, Another, what is that, a Danforth? Comment down below if you know what that is. Looks like a Danforth to me. 
He's got uh, about 250 feet of three stand uh, 5 8 road in the back for the uh, safety anchor, backup anchor with uh, 60 foot of chain. And then he's got another little anchor for a stern anchor. So all in all, the hull looks good. She's got some cosmetic issues, but when you use a boat, buying an old 30 year old boat, this, you, you're expecting that. Uh, the way if we get it, we don't have to worry about putting any marks on it. She's already got a few, so I don't have to worry about scratching it. But when we haul it out, we'll have all this stuff fixed. And we'll put a new bottom job and she'll be fine. One concern we have is how we're going to address the, uh, the blisters. So, one of these things when you go and look at a boat, just finding one that's in good shape for what you want to spend is tough. And then when you get it out of the water and start doing the sea trials, then you find out what's really wrong with her. Our surveyor's here. He's currently inside working on what he can do on the top side, dock side survey. And they're trying to get the size of the through hole, see if we can get it. And get it replaced and get her back splashed. This was an emergency haul out. The normal price, I believe, at this marina is... Uh, I think $11.50 a foot. So this is a 42 footer. So do the math. That's just the general haul out. Emergency haul out is $15 a foot above that. So you can just imagine. He spent a thousand dollars just hauling her out today. And fortunately for us, we won't have to pay for that. The antenna up on top is a big Garmin. 72 mile antenna and we'll show you the gear later that's it way up there and that'll rotate up there the dinghy's up there with an electric davit that will uh, splash the davit up there so we don't have to worry about having it in the swim platform or if we go to a marina we can put it up there and not have to worry about taking it off getting in the way going to a marina or whatever but we will tow it eventually back behind us unless we're doing long sails. So anyway, that's what the bottom looks like on a 42 Jefferson 1987 model. Hope you enjoyed this part of it. Next time we'll do the sea trial, show the inside. All right, Daryl and Kim here. Kim's over there talking to the broker, Mr. Barry, with Massey Yacht Sales. Did us an excellent job. Found us two or three boats. So, uh, so far so good. So this is boating life. Don't get in a hurry to do nothing. So until next time. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. <laughs>